today we will going to start the second lecture of oscillation in this lecture we will discuss about the differential equation of linear simple harmonic motion hello student welcome back in the second lecture of oscillation in the second lecture of oscillation we will start here the differential equation of linear simple harmonic motion differential equation of linear simple harmonic motion simple harmonic motion la apan short madhe sh mean in the previous lecture we have already seen that what do you mean by the linear simple harmonic motion and its details so linear simple harmonic motion in which the particle repeatedly move to and fro along the same path and here in this linear sh the restoring force or acceleration it is always directed towards its mean position and its magnitude is directly proportional to the displacement of a particle from the mean position tala apan linear simple harmonic so consider here a particle let us assume that a particle performing simple harmonic motion when a particle performs linear simple harmonic motion then the restoring force is always directed towards its mean position and its magnitude is directly proportional to the displacement of a particle from its mean position so the restoring force f equals to minus k into x we have already seen this equation in the previous lecture that is restoring force f equals to minus k into x here k is the force constant here k is the force constant and negative sign shows that force and displacement are oppositely directed now according to the Newton's second law of motion force equals to mass into acceleration this is the equation 2 these two equations are the equations of the force here we can calculate first acceleration we know that what is acceleration rate of change of velocity with respect to time but to find the acceleration we have first calculate the velocity so the velocity of a particle is v equals to dx upon dt this is the velocity वेलोसिटी अपन अभी का डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऐसी डेरिवेटिव घोसिटी एक्सेलरेशन स्मॉल ए एक्सेलरेशन ए इक्वल्स टू डी वी बाय डी टी या वेलोसिटी लिफरशिट करते विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम एक्सेलरेशन मिलते अपन वी ची वैल्यू पुट करू डी बाय डी टी वी वी डी एक्स अपन डी टी so here this becomes d2x upon dt 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 square so now acceleration becomes d2x upon dt square put this acceleration in equation 2 so equation 2 becomes force f equals to m into a h 
लिया था अपन d2 x upon t t square कर लिया so now force becomes m d2 x upon t t square now this equation one and three these are the equations of force so we equate this equation here so from equation one and three from equations one and three and d2 x upon t t square equals to minus k into x अतः ये जो फंक्शन या जो मल्टीप्लिकेशन में कहीं ना हो मतलब हाँ m अपन इक्वल ट्रांसफर करो यहाँ पहले सो d2 x upon d t square equals to minus k x upon m so, अतः ये negative term ही करेंगे हम लोग, therefore d two x upon d t square plus k by m ही करें plus हुए, a two x equals to zero. Let this k by m equals to omega square. Here, omega is the angular frequency of a particle in SHO. So the above equation becomes d2x upon dt square plus omega square we put here this k by n omega square into x omega square into x equals to c. This is the equation 4. This equation 4 represents the differential equation of linear SHO. So, I repeat here a differential equation of linear SHO. To obtain the differential equation of linear SHO, we have, con we have to consider here the particle performing linear simple harmonic motion. And the restoring force of a particle F equals to minus K into X here. This is equation 1. And according to the Newton's second law of motion, F equals to mass into acceleration. So, here we calculate first acceleration. So, acceleration is nothing but rate of change of velocity with respect to time. So, we calculate first velocity. So, the velocity of a particle, we know that rate of change of displacement with respect to time. So, acceleration A, dv by dt equals to d by dt. It is which one put kili apart? dx by dt. So, it becomes now d2x upon dt square. So, acceleration should be equals to d2x upon dt square. Put this value in equation 2. So, equation 2 becomes now F equals to M into A. That is D2X upon DT square. This is equation 3. These two equation, that is 1 and 3, equate kara. Equate kela nantar. Ya function na jeta M chayane into la. Tigri transfer kara. D2X upon DT square equals to minus KX upon M. So here, this becomes positive here. So, d2x upon dt square plus k by m x equals to 0. Let k by m equals to omega square. Here, omega is the angular frequency. So, our differential equation becomes now d2x upon dt square plus omega square x equals to 0. So, this equation 4 represents here the differential equation of linear simple harmonic motion. Why k by m equals to omega square here? We know that f equals to m into a, mass into acceleration. So, according to SHM, simple harmonic motion, 
acceleration a equals to minus omega square into x. So, f becomes here, this equation 1, and into minus omega square into x. This is the equation of force here. And we know that for spring force, that is restoring force, F equals to minus K into X. So here, this equation, uh, this equation 2 and 3, these two equations are the equations of force. So equating equations 2 and 3. So here m minus omega square into x equals to minus kx. So here x x get cancelled. Negative sign also get cancelled. So omega square equals to k by m here. This m is here. So we put here in the differential equation of linear SHM, k by m equals to omega square. Dear student, this is very important differential equation. By using this differential equation, we will obtain the expressions for acceleration, velocity and displacement. We will see this in the next lecture. Till then, keep studying.